Welcome to Merry Fuckmas with Sean and Fernicholas, and uh, this is our little Christmas celebration. Except it's not Christmas yet, and it's not really a Christmas celebration, so we call it Fuckmas because fuck it. There's only a few rules to our Fuckmas celebration, and one is hydrate. And uh, the other one is we exchange motherfucking gifts. And I got Fernicholas a rock tumbler because he's a motherfucking rock hound, duh. And looks like he liked it. Then Fernicholas says to me, he says, and I say, uh, oh, you want me to turn off the light? Roger Wilco, motherfucker, but why? Holy shit, that motherfucker made me a thing. Damn. I'm a little fucking emotional about it. I'm going to put my fucking crystal skull that I travel with on it. I'll tell wifey poo when the shrine is lit, then a little head is in order, and she'll say, fuck off. And I'll say, wah, I miss head. Why do we have to go and get married? This fucking guy, what a brother. Hydrate. All right, well, now fuck miss can really begin. Well, you may already know we go out in the woods all the damn time, and what's the big fucking deal? Well, we did a hard thing to do. The implication of societies that you produce and you grind. You go to work to be able to afford a car so that you can go to work to pay for your damn car, et fuck, etc. Well, we decided to make our own rules, at least for one damn day, and decided that we deserve a fucking day each year to truly fuck off. Hence, fuck miss. I know it's a dumb name, but I don't give a fuck. That's what fuck miss is all about. Protocols are as follows. Gift exchange, enter woodlands in the morning, hydrate with coffee containing generous amounts of Baileys and JMO. Provisions are two extra-large Al Pastor burritos from the Guerneville taco truck. The final protocol, though, is the most important, and it is to have no more fucking protocols. It's a day of no plans, no time limit. Don't ask us when we're going to be back. We don't fucking know. Now, there's nothing special about us that we should deserve this any more than anyone else. We just decided to make up a holiday that would be fun and suited to our natural proclivities and then fucking implement said holiday. So if you're not having your own fucking fuckmas, then what the fuck? So cheers, these motherfuckers. Merry fuckmas to all and to all a bag of dicks. Alright, well, fuckmas may seem a twisted blasphemy of a holiday to some, but, you know, actual Christmas is a fucking birthday party that ends as a zombie tale that was shit upon the Roman sun god holiday and pagan solstice, mashed with a fat Turkish donkey-riding bishop legend who became a saint who's seen by mushroom-tripping arctic gift-giving shamans flying through the fucking astral realms with his reindeer spirit guides and was later conceived and drawn into a fucking cartoon in 1908 by an American writer, the image of which was later hijacked by Coca-Cola in 1931 to get the kiddies fucking hooked on sugar and caffeine and don't get me started with fucking talking snowmen and shit. Meaning is what we make it, so fuck it. Fuck miss it is. And if you can handle it, then come on along with us to spread fucking fuck miss cheer throughout the fucking forest. We're gonna meet tractor our old fat asses way up here where no dumb asses may tread. I mean... Well, just us. We're the only, you know, we're the only dumbasses up here, like, ever. But, I mean, that's why we climb way up here. So, anyway. Sometimes you appreciate the shit that's hard to get to more. And anyway, we're grateful for old logging roads to get us into the bush. Look at these old soggy oysters like an old man's balls. Time melts shit. This is an old redwood forest that was clear-cut in the 1800s and is recovering in weird and wonderful ways, just like for Nicholas and I. Uh, for Nicholas, he's all about the camo. When it's foggy like this, he likes to add to the fog so that, you know, the spy satellites can't see his ass. So what's fuckness about? Fuck if I know. It's about whatever it ends up being about. Right now it's about dancing to our own rendition of Silent Night using only cuss words and partly beatboxing and shit like a couple dumbasses on an old logging road. That's what it's about. Sometimes it's about stoically staring off into the universe, contemplating its vastness and trying to break open your paradigm a bit. But it's always about meat tractoring. Were you aware of the connection between mushrooms and Christmas? In Nordic countries, shaman would go from snowbound home to snowbound home through an opening in the rubes, dressed in red with white spots like an Amanita mushroom, and would dole out special mushroom presents for people to trip balls and fly through the nether worlds of the mind, accompanied by reindeer, which are their spirit animals and shit. And here we have Fernicolas dancing gleefully in the rain because, well, because it's fucking fuckmas, that's why. So, merry fucking fuckmas. Well, we know we've climbed high enough when the Usnia, or old man's beard, is thick. It only does that when the air quality is good up here at a higher elevation. And, and uh, cheers these motherfuckers. Uh, look at me staring at old man's beard with my old man's beard. 
Anyway, we've come to know the system of deer trails out here like the back of our hand. Deer have to be calorically economical, so their trails are well suited to our old asses. You don't just go straight up and down, sometimes you gotta zig, sometimes zag. And there's some deep life lesson shit in there, but you'll have to extrapolate the meaning your own damn self, because we're here. Camp Nunya. Camp Nunya stands for Nunya fucking business where it is. Now, when you're day hydrating, <laughs> you want to occasionally do this other thing. People call it drinking water. Apparently, water's not just for taking showers and flushing toilets and shit. No, don't be a dumbass. You're mostly made of water. If you feel like shit at any point, drink some water. Or just feel like shit. I'm not the fucking boss of you. All right, let's get back to day hydrating, shall we? I think we're starting to feel the spirit of fuckmas. The spirit of fuckmas is an Irish leprechaun spirit whose dad's name is James. Maybe we should draw our own Santa. He's green and he has a big J on his chest. Okay, one more. Show up. I think you're right, dude. Reality is a field, and we and objects of perceived reality are just fluctuations in that field, but ultimately it's just one thing, like a dreamer dreaming itself into other possibilities. We are that one thing true, that dreamer is you. Has anyone seen my fucking glasses? I can't find my damn glasses, no? No, oh, fuck, okay. Are you enjoying this little video about nothing? You can fit a lot of something into nothing. In fact, if there wasn't a great all-pervasive emptiness, then the universe would have nothing to expand into. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't see any spy satellites at the moment? That's good. Oh look, it's fucking Santa. Dude, why are your eyes so bloodshot? What the fuck? Anyway, looking good for Nikki Santa. You do you. Well, we chitty-chatted and figured out the meaning of fucking life, knocked out a few mysteries of the universe like consciousness, panpsychism, alternate dimensions, and where all the fucking single socks go. Also tightened up our unified theory on all things paranormal, and, well, grinding out mysteries makes a motherfucker powerful hungry, so it's time for the fuckmas feast. Merry fuckmas, fuckers, and a little more hydration, a little drinky pearl. Alright, let's get walking. Now, we like an occasional challenge, like this slippery-ass muddy slope. It would probably be easier if I put my drinky poo down, but I'm not fucking doing that. When you have an overactive stress response, be it from trauma or battle or being a first responder or whatever got you there, I find it helps to put a little bit of a load on it. I mean, we're not talking adrenaline junkie shit, I'm just saying. We push ourselves into our actions, creep into that ever-diligent region in which we seem to be stuck, and suddenly we seem to feel appropriate to the world, and it helps to calm the whole thing down. It gives a job to the amygdala, who's constantly searching for danger, because finding none, it will turn inward and cause anxiety and panic attacks and shit, but if you can make it feel like it did its duty, you get a little peace. I'm not saying go do dangerous shit, don't be a dumbass, I'm saying do something reasonable that scares you a little. It may mean going to the fucking grocery store and saying hi to fucking strangers. It may mean telling your partner or a friend something vulnerable. I don't fucking know what scares you, figure it the fuck out. Do those little scary things till they're not scary anymore. Remember when Fernicolas had to constantly wear ferns to hide from the spy satellites and shit? Well, look at his ass now. It's not because he's not scared, it's because he knows he needs to expose himself to prove to his mind a laser's not going to zap him from space. Right? Right, Fernicolas? Dude. The most important part of unfucking yourself is making the decision and commitment to do so. Then you do the fucking work, and it is work. Make the difficult choice, but also sprinkle in some easy choices that are rarely done. Do something nice for yourself. Take a fucking break from punishing yourself already. You fucking deserve it. But if you don't think you deserve it, then uh, you know who does? The little you. The young you who did nothing wrong. That you deserve some fucking kindness. So you can fucking do it for them if you can't do it for yourself. Or what? What were we talking about? Oh yeah, be nice to your younger self. That's what the spirit of fuckmas is all about. And what it looks like for us, we come out into the woods where no one can see, where no one will judge, and we let our inner child run free and act a fool, full of wonder and unfettered by the flatland woes. We let that little fucker play and cuss and be itself. We're like our own fucking cool uncle who takes our younger selves out into the woods and lets them have drinky poos and finger mushrooms and shit. Find that younger version of you. You know the one huddled in a corner of your psyche, the one who thinks it's all their fault. Tell them it's okay. Tell them they're okay. Tell them the weird older you loves the young perfect as they are them. And uh, you two go have your own fuck mess. Well, thanks for coming along this year's fuckmas celebration. If you love the holidays, then why not make up another one? And if you hate the holidays, then even more reason to make one up. It's not about tradition, it's about you being happy. What a fucking concept, eh? 
that we can go out into the world and do shit that makes us happy? Why the fuck not? So Merry Fuckmas, my friends. May you all act a foo. Merry Fuckmas to you all. Now you go be you. Toodaloo.